Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be doing some work with digraphs. To warm up our brain, we're going to be practicing some of the sounds that digraphs make. If you don't have a piece of paper and something to write with, please go get it now and then be ready to think. Okay, let's get started. On your paper, I want you to write the letters that make the sound sh. Write the letters that make the sound sh. I'm going to write it too. If you need more time, just press pause and we'll be here when you're done. Ready? T-H, thumb, sh. Two letters, one sound. Digraph, sh. All right. Now I want you to write the letters that make the sound sh. Sh. Write it on your paper. I'm going to write it on my board too. Be ready in three, two, one. S H ship sh. Two letters, one sound. The digraph S H. Let's do one more together. On your paper, I want you to write the digraph that makes the sound k. Which two letters make the sound k? Write it on your paper. I'm going to write it on my board, then we'll share. Remember, if you need more time, just press pause. Be ready in three, two, one. Digraph, CK, sock, k. Remember that the CK digraph comes at the end of the word, like in the word sock. We hear that sound at the end. Okay. Set down whatever you're using to write with, open up your ears nice and wide, and be ready to think and listen together. I've been doing some thinking about two of the digraphs specifically, and I thought I would share my thinking with you because I think it's really important. There are two digraphs where the sounds are very, very similar. In fact, I noticed that my mouth makes the same movement to make both of the sounds. But I tried to figure out what's different about them, and that's what I want to share with you. The digraphs that I'm talking about are CH, chin, ch, and SH, ship, sh. When I make the CH sound, my mouth looks like this. Ch. Now you make the CH sound. Ch. When I make the SH sound, my mouth looks like this. Shh. Now you make the SH sound. Shh. Notice how your mouth makes the same shape to make both of those digraph sounds. Shh. Shh. Now you do it. Shh. Shh. In fact, I can make both sounds one after another without even moving my lips. You do it. Good. So what's different about these two sounds? Well, when we make the ch sound, pay attention to what your tongue does. Try it. Ch, ch, chin, ch. Feel how your tongue moves. Ch, it starts at the top hitting the back of your teeth, and then drops down. Ch. Now try what your tongue does when you make the sh sound. Try sh. Say sh, ship, sh. Where is your tongue? Sh. My tongue lays in the middle of my mouth and doesn't really do anything. Shh. Hmm. So in ch chin ch digraph, my tongue is moving, starting at the top and dropping down. But in the sh ship sh digraph, my tongue stays still. There's also something different about the air that comes out of your mouth. Try the air for ch chin ch. 
Make the sound, C-H, chin, ch. Feel the air for C-H, chin, ch. Now let's try the air for S-H, ship, sh. Try it, S-H, ship, sh. Notice how with C-H, chin, ch, the air comes fast and then stops. With SH ship shh, the air comes out kind of fast, but it keeps going long. So the air for CH chin shh, cuts off and is short, and the SH ship shh, is long and drawn out. So there are two differences between the two. Even though our mouth, our lips look the same and our mouth looks the same, the CH has a tongue that moves and the air comes out short and stops. The SH, the air comes out long and our tongue stays flat and doesn't really move. We have to remember that when we are reading words and when we are spelling words. Let's try those two jobs together right now. We're going to start with spelling some words that have the CH or the SH digraph in it. Our job is to use our ears and pay attention to what our mouth is doing to make those sounds. Are you ready? Pick up your pencil. And the first word I want you to write onto your paper is the word chub. Write the word chub. I'll give you a hint. The digraph comes first. So listen to the sound that you hear, chub. Pay attention to what your mouth does what your tongue does, and how the air comes out at the beginning of that word, chub. Write it on your paper. I'm going to write it on my board, so I am ready to think with you. If you need more time, press pause, and we'll be here when you're finished. We'll talk about it in three, two, one. Chub is the word. I have ch at the beginning. Ch. There's my lip position. Ch. I feel my tongue drop and the air come out short. Ch. A. Uh, b. Chub. Did you hear the CH digraph at the beginning? Ch. I hope so. If not, fix it on your paper. The next word I want you to make is the word cheb. Cheb. What's the same? What's different? Go ahead and write your word. Cheb. What digraph do you hear? What other parts of the word do you hear? Cheb. You ready? In three, two, one. Cheb. Ch. Hmm. Ch. I felt my tongue drop. It moved, ch, and the air stopped. So this is the correct digraph at the beginning, ch. Did you hear the ch digraph at the beginning? Ch. Then let's look at the next letter, eh. That needs a different letter. I don't have an uh anymore. I have an eh, e, ed, eh. Ch, eh, b, b, cheb. Check your cheb with my cheb. And let's do our next one. Our next word is the word sheb. Sheb. What digraph do you hear? What other parts of the word do you hear? Write it on your paper. Sheb. Think about the position of your tongue and what happens with the air. Sheb. Keep thinking. What are the other parts of the word? What vowel do you need? Be ready in three, two, one. Sheb is the word we're trying to make. Shh. Okay, there's that mouth position. Shh. But I hear the air come long. Shh. And my tongue is flat. That gives me a hint that I don't need the ch chin. Shh. I need a ship. S H. My marker. S H sh, digraph. 
e, that's the same. B, that's the same. Sheb, check your sheb with my sheb. Let's do a next one. The word is hesh. Hesh. Write the word hesh on your paper. Hesh. What digraph do you hear? Where is the digraph in the word? What other sounds do you hear in the word? Hesh. Press pause if you need more time. We'll do it together in three, two, one. Hesh is the word. I need a different letter at the beginning. I don't hear a sh sound. I need a H. Eh. Heh. Heh. I need that E. I'm going to move it closer, though, to make my word. Huh. Eh. Shh. I don't hear a B sound anymore, but I do hear a shh. The sound is long. Shh. And I feel my tongue laying in the middle of my mouth. Hesh. I need an SH digraph at the end of my word. Hesh. Change hesh to the word metch. Metch. Metch is the word. Make the word metch. Think about the sound of the digraph. Think about the air that comes out. Is it fast and short or is it long? What does your tongue do to make the digraph sound? After you're done writing it, be ready to check yours with mine. In three, two, one. Metch is the word. Mmm. I need to take away the H because I need the letter that makes the sound mmm. M. Mmm. Eh. Meh. That's the same. Ch. Hmm. Metch. I need to get rid of sh because I don't hear a sh going long. I hear a short air coming out. Metch. So I need ch chin ch diagram digraph. Metch. Metch. Okay. Next, I'm going to put up some words, and your job is going to be to write down the part that's missing. I'll give you some parts of the word. You tell me what's missing. Here's my hint for you. The only parts that are going to be missing from this word, this word that I'm going to be writing, are going to be the digraph parts. Remember, the digraph might be at the beginning or it might be at the end of the word. The first word I'm going to write is the word nutch. Nutch. There's a digraph at the end of the word nutch. Which digraph? Is it? Is it ch chin ch or is it sh ship sh? Write the word nutch on your paper. Nutch. Be ready in three, two, one. Nutch. Ch. That's a short air coming out. So I need ch chin ch. I hope you had the CH on yours as well. Here's our next one. Write the word shot. Shot. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? I was supposed to give you parts. Well, here you go. It's missing the beginning, and there's the end. What digraph comes at the beginning of the word shot? Shot. Write it on your paper. I'll be ready to do it with you in three, two, one. Shot. Shh. The air is long. Shh. My tongue stays flat. I need SH. Ship. Shh. Shot. Okay. Today we learned about the difference between the digraph CH chin sh and SH ship sh. Remember, the sounds are similar because our lip position is the same, but our tongue and the air is different. See you later.